as someone who watches them week after week, who who are you excited to see back now that you're back on television? What what, what wrestlers do you think have stepped up? Who's who's next in line for AEW? I think Kip Sabian, he was one of the names that I mentioned that that really kind of stepped up and he proved that he's he's somebody that can be counted on not just as, you know, being there, but also rising to the occasion. Sure. And I think he's got a very, very bright future in this business, as well as his fiance Penelope Ford, who, yeah. you know, I think she would admit that when AEW started, she was not among one of the the, the best women on our roster in terms of in-ring performance. Mm-hmm. But over this last few months, she has grown as a performer, not not just in her ability, but also in her confidence in herself. Yeah. And she had an absolutely fantastic match um, on our July 1st episode. She challenged for the women's world title. I think it was a match that people were, you know, the fans were excited for it, but, you know, they had their reservations. And she and Penelope Ford and Hikaru Shida absolutely outkicked their coverage in, in, in that regard. And so I think those, those two are, are fantastic. I think the Lucha brothers, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr., who are two real life brothers. They were born in Mexico City. Ray Phoenix lives in the States and Pentagon Jr. lives in Mexico. And they have been traveling for perhaps the last six, seven years mm-hmm. with each other every single week. <laughs> uh, they were constantly in each other's presence and then three months where they couldn't see each other. Yeah. And so I know when they came back to TV and they're able to travel together and things you know, started feeling kind of like normal again for them, that was that was really huge. And so it's like they're they're some of the best in-ring performers that we have, but also just, you know, on a, on a personal level, it makes me feel good that they get to see each other again. 